their loved ones in this tragedy in this tragedy i cry with you i cry for peace may god restore love and peace and stop this bloodshed in our country to do the gun. We are about to start with our program. As we start uh, with our program, I would like to call upon Pastor Musikidi. While the worshiping team is still assisting us as we welcome Pastor Musikidi to come and lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Le la morena Jesu Christ le boko. Le la morena Jesu Christ le boko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesu ke morena. Khaisiria ka are o 
le maemong ana o ya halalela le maemong ana o ya halalela in this situation he is god le maemong ana o ya halalela even in this situation he is god kimudimo he is god hauna se ka motlosa mbuye momba hai akukho ngamsosa esihlalweni sakhe ke morena u inkosi ke kopareetse thapelo ngela sikukhulekeni mudimo wa rona ndateka le bitsola morena jesus moya o halalela go bohlokwe mpa o ntsole mudimo khanya le dipoko dia o tshwanela morena le maemong ana ine ile wena maubane ke wena ka sheno ke wena ka go safele le bitsola ha o le phahame jo ho fa ke rona bana re kopane re bokane ba kensena re ya o mema morena a konke se ba ka modimi ya lokile o re tlotla e tle le biso go wena re ya o boka modimi wa rona wena tau ya le lokola tshuda wena shweshwe ya shalom mohala di tu wa di phula nka se ba ka modimo wa rona ka le bitsola Jesu go batho bohle ba tla ema se ba kense na modimo ba tlisa mantsu ya matsidiso a go dule malemeng a bona go bohle modimo ba le metseng a go kene di paki morena o itsele ntshweng la ho modimo ya tamela ba le metseng ba pelotse ro be ile e tlotlise ka le bitsola Jesu amen and amen amen ke go pa fela re tlo tla re shera fela a short message ditsela spekena ko mlaezo o mfishane kakhulu re booking ya mekele si eclesians engwatini e excuses yes mushuma yeli chapter 3 verse 1 ya de verse 1 ke go pa ho ebala ke temane tlo ile ile nga holo Empa ke tshepa le hudumela hore modimo o tla bua ka tsela ya hae ere hae fumane ile go boe ba langwe ne so Exodus chapter number 3 verse number 1 For everything there is a reason and a time for every purpose under heaven verse number 2 A time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted amen amen jesus mudimo ke le ntshela ha re ya le bua bua le rona ka lona ka le bitsola morena jesus amen hona le ntho mudimo a yetsa ku khona into nkulunkulu a yenzayo ke kopa tshwarelo pele ke kopa o dumedisa ka le bitsola morena jesus greetings in the name of jesus amen hallelujah There's something that Jesus is doing before he can do anything we he creates time in other words before he created a man he created time so meaning everything that is made dintswe it is actually made katlasanako under time so mudimo yetsanako so god made time ha kleta etse dintho and then he created things katlasanako behind time ntho yengwe fela e existang one thing that exists ntlele nako except time ke mudimo it's god uba ne mudimo ha na qalo because god has no beginning mudimo ha na qetelo and god has no end So mutimu kiena meaning God is he ya pilang who lives nkhele nako ka pa ka tlasana outside time mari nthotso ohle but everything tsentswe ke mutimu that is made by God ke ka tlasana they are under time dikabantle they can be purified dikabampe they can be mari nthotso ohle but everything dikatlasana is under time including the motho even a person o yentswe is made ka tlasana under time many people babua taba ya lifu hampi speak of the, of death in a bad way ke kopatsa tsinla ka sheno lena but on this day mohlomo nke ke buwe taba ena let me say this bona le nthwe ke ratang le ha lifu le le bohlopo there's something that i love even de- when death is 
brutal is painful. But let me speak something that is great out of even if it's bad. Even if it's painful. But there's one thing about it. Death doesn't come at one time. It hasn't arrived. In other words, if we think death is is is, is, is a problem, death is not a problem. The problem is the time. Because death does not come if the time has not arrived. As everything has been made under time. Even death is made under time. You might, it might have come to me, but because my time hasn't arrived, it, it hasn't arrived to me. I know you can point fingers, you can ask questions, why God, when they are still young at this age, but God, time, when time has arrived, the problem about time, it doesn't care about our plans. The problem about time. It doesn't look good who are you leaving with behind. The problem about time. It doesn't think for the people who are close to you. Time. I'm a servant of God. The, the, the Lord has made grace for me. There are people whom I lay hands upon. And they are healed. But when I lay hands on my person, whom is, has time has come, even if I can pray in tongues, even if I can fast, and pray for that person, fast, but if the time has arrived, my prayer will not work. When a person is sick, is, uh, under the heaven, there's a medication I said, there's a medication he's using. But when the time has arrived, the medication will not work. Time. When time has arrived, there's no medication. Time. When time has arrived, there's no prayer. When time has arrived, has arrived. There's nothing that can stand before time. Even the Bible says, when the person of God has pointed, who can stop time? I say, okay. When time has arrived, there's nobody Yakayama. who can stand. I understand that you are feeling pain. I understand that you are feeling pain. But beloved, there's nothing we could have done. Even if we could have done that, there's, there's nothing that we could have done. Because time has arrived. There's nobody who can stand. There are people who have been shot. Whom has been shot about more than 10 bullets. But they are still alive. There's somebody who has been shot with one bullet but has died. But one thing that is not, what bullet is not powerful. One thing that is powerful is time. When time has arrived, there's nobody who can stand. Let us pray. Rappelling. Muti muaruna. Ria uleboa. Kalibitso la mura na Jesus. Rebuhe la lele nzi la haundi atore hupoza urna ako. Hai se otile. Haona moto. Tumu le mwe bedzwe na koki wena muti imbo. Me hana kwe se otile. Haona moto. Ria uleboa mure na kaure hupoza. Kalibitso la mura na Jesus Christ. How do you like your Amen. Amen. <speaking in Spanish>
Ha <laughs>
acknowledge the presence of the rectorate. We are indeed blessed to have you around us in this time of sadness. Uh, I was told to, to keep it formal. Let me call upon Dr. Mulapo Kobela Vice Rector of Institutional Change and Strategic Partnership uh, to come and give us a message from Rectorate. Soon and very soon. Program Director, Kileboha Mansua Hao. 
ke kopa ho kalaka ho leboha mantse a muruti musikidi tapela ya ha onda te ka leboha ke kala ha pe ka ho isa hlompo go batswadi ba holo ba teng ka tlung ka mona I stand today representing our Vice Chancellor, the entire management and staff of our university with a very, very heavy heart. This is a very sad day for the university and the families and the communities of Putanichar. Within a space of a week, we have lost three young minds with the hope and aspirations of their families and community. What did Lamini, a third year Bachelor of Science major, during in Fini? Tabani Mangre, a second year Bachelor of Administration, and Sikren Zimba, a first year Bachelor of Science student. We bow our heads and mourn with their families, friends, and fellow students. These were young people who showed great promise. The academic transcripts of both Tabani The academic transcripts of Bo Tabani and Sinquino bear testimony to the commitment that they showed in their academic endeavor, having both obtained distinctions. Wanda was about to finish his degree in a scarce and critical skill of science and engineering. This is a clear indication of the determination and drive of these three young men who display who displayed commitment, who displayed commitment towards their education, despite the unorthodox and difficult learning conditions imposed by COVID-19. As we know, students of our university live either on campus or off campus. Tabani and Sitrino 
presided off campus due to the limited number of students permitted on our residences as determined by COVID-19 regulations. We appreciate and acknowledge the partnership with the community of Putarichaba in, in providing private accommodation and extending a helping hand when the university is faced with limitation of space for our students. As the university, we are not oblivious to the challenges that our off-campus students face. We will continue to work closely with all our stakeholders from our police, our municipality, traditional leaders, and the community of Puteri Chab towards ensuring safer living conditions for our students. As I conclude, we all know that quality education changes lives, the lives of individuals and the lives of our communities. University students are thus a beacon of hope for our families and of our, of our communities. While we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of future leaders, future mentors and nation builders, We must celebrate the lives of these three young men and implore on their friends and fellow students not to be deterred from pursuing their dreams and aspirations of quality education and a better life. As Muruti Musigedi said, you cannot cheat time. May their souls rest in peace. I thank you. Let me call upon Mr. Temba Shaso to come and give us ways of encouragement.
Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, let me thank the family of the three students for giving us an opportunity to talk about them. Their lives were cut short. I think the, the pastor spoke about time. I think what is very painful about time is nobody knows when it is that time to depart this world. As a parent myself, I put myself in the shoes of the parents of the three students. When kids are brought to this world, it is an excitement, it is jubilation. We celebrate. When they depart, we cry tears. I think there are two things that we need to do here. They were given to us for a short space of time. It becomes very important then we recognize the time they were on earth and celebrate that time. That time was not wasteful. When a child goes to preschool, parents prepare that child to go to grade R, to primary school, to high school, then goes to university. As a parent, I am expecting the child to graduate, to work, and take us out of poverty. I think the, the complexities of our unequal societies tell us that our students at universities, they are here to take their families out of poverty. So if an early life a young man's life is taken away from us. We are losing future leaders. We are losing families that had hoped that these three young people will take them out of poverty. As educators, as Student Affairs practitioners, we are guided by local parentis principle. What does that mean? We have a responsibility as parents of students. If you look into the local parentis principle, we replace the parents at the university. Our responsibility and roles is to protect the students is to make sure that students study in an environment that is conducive for their success. But our country's crime rate fails us. All of us would wish that our students are in safe environments, they prosper academically without having to face these atrocities. To the first families of Lamini, the family of Mangale, the family of Zimba, we share your grief. We cry with you. As the pastor said, there's a time for birth, there's a time for departure. Let them go. Accept this fate. Look upon the skies. Apo unedo lwako ya uvela kona. Kneel down for strength. Pray to God for strength. As a university, we will help you pray for that strength. You will need the strength. It's not an easy thing to lose a child. 
as a university, we cry with you, we mourn with you, and we will forever feel the pain. I, I wish to leave with you, family, friends, and guests, these few departing, comforting words. You are gone from our sight, but never from our hearts. You are our thoughts and prayers would be with us. I wish the three families healing, and I wish the three families peace and strength. I hope all the friends, schoolmates, will learn from your departure. We're living in a world that is cruel. We're living in a world that is heartless. And young people around here, take that to your hearts. The world you are living in is so cruel. And we should also pray for our world. We should also pray for our government. With those few words, Lalani Ngaeba, Yomelelani, Ninga, Zi, Ninga Zi So Linga Seso, Ninga Zi So Linga Seso, Uchilo Umfundisi, Wati Kresha, Kali Fikile, Lifikile, Aku Koldos Noyenza. There's nothing we can do. The only message that is so painful from the sermon is you can't plan having the knowledge of your departure time. It is a very unfair situation. You are born today. You don't know when is your departure time. That is very unfair to me because you invest you invest in yourself, you invest in your kids, and you don't know when the returns will come. You do not know whether there will ever be returns in your investments. So, Pastor, I think your sermon was very fulfilling and healing. It also healed me that I should accept death because there is nothing human beings can do to stop death. With those few words, thank you very much. And Nipole family, Nipole, thank you. le boha holo ntate hlaso ka mantswe ao a matla a matsidiso because this is a joint memorial service we are now going to move over to our Bloemfontein campus where Mr. Samulo Songwani is standing by to take over from item number 5 until item number 10 thank you Ladies and gentlemen, uh, greetings. And thank you to Ms. Nkosna Tisibeko for handing over to us this side at the Bloemfontein campus. Allow me to acknowledge, uh, as he has already acknowledged, the leadership of the university in terms of the rectorate under the leadership of Prof. Peterson and also the, um, in here in, uh, in the Bloemfontein campus, there is a department from NES where one of the students was a student at and I would like to believe that maybe as well there in Kwakwa, there are uh, faculty and department representatives present. Uh, allow me to also acknowledge the whole community of student affairs. Uh, the ED just spoke. Uh, there are also residence heads, and in particular, Mr. Lyle Markham, where one of the students was a student in his residence. And also the SRC, uh, I acknowledge you, and also the 
residence committee members that might be watching. I don't see any in the auditorium right now. And then also to the pastor who gave, I would say, a message in, uh, in the clergy, we call it a message in season. So thank you, Muruti, for that wonderful message. Um, we are going to move a little bit faster because of time. So we are going to have a, a, our band here just to give us a soft, nice, spiritually uplifting song. And then as the song uh, reaches its end, we are going to call upon for a message of support uh, from Miss Pulani Malefane, our aid, we call her AD as residence heads. So Miss Pulani is going to come and then immediately after Miss Pulani, when she finishes, we are going to get messages of support from uh, Mr. Lyle Markham, who is the residence head of Abram Fisher, where the student at the Bloemfontein campus was residing. And immediately after him, he will be then followed by the prime, that is Mr. Mandla Zulu who is going to speak after. And then after Mr. Mandla Zulu, that is when I am going to come back to the podium. So I'm going to ask the speakers to just follow each other in that manner. Thank you. Over to you guys. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you, program director. To the rectorate members um, that are joining virtually, and to Mr. Temba, Kwakwa, to the principal members of Kwakwa campus, colleagues in student affairs, and all staff members of UFS community, to students, friends, and all family members, I greet you all. It is indeed a sober moment to all of us, especially us in residence life. Since we discovered the death of Wanda Dlamini, it has not been easy. We were shocked 
in disbelief that we lost a student in our own residences. And since I joined the residence life, I have never witnessed the death of a student in our own residences. Maybe it's because of we always pride ourselves that we have systems we have in our residences, and therefore we have been wondering what was <clears throat> What is that, that that we could have done different? Because this has created so much pain and sadness. I'm reminded of great words that says, for I am sure that neither death nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. And I hope these words will be able to lift us all, the family and colleagues. When I was made aware that Wanda Damini is not responsive to his calls, I requested the residence head to go and check on him in his room. And he went immediately, and only to discover that Wanda is in his deepest sleep. When you called me back, I went straight to the residence. It was not easy to all of us. And it has not been easy to students, to friends, and to his family. It has not been easy because in our residences, we pride ourselves to be those ones who are able to create a sense of building, of belonging. We always pride that in residences, we are able to create a sense of community. And it, has a, and it is our residence life values. I must be honest as well and say COVID has not been kind. It has not been kind to all of us because we are living and managing our residences within a very difficult protocols, where our students are unable to meet as regularly as they used to, even in simple corridor sessions because of strict measures. So it hasn't been easy to manage residences during this time. Students are unable to interact and do what they will usually do to embrace that sense of community. It has been difficult, very difficult to embrace that sense of community. I would like to send my messages of condolences to all FISA students' community. I saw how broken you were when I shared the news with you on Wednesday. It was not something you expected. And you were indeed sad. And I hope over time, you will be comforted and accept that one of your student members that you once stayed with in the same building and enjoyed the time with is no more. To the residence head and your student leadership, I know it has been the most difficult time of your leadership journey. Mr. Lai, I know as a member of academia, you decided to continue to do good work um, of supporting and mentoring students outside the classroom. Hence, you chose to be a residence head. Thank you for, willing, for your willingness to be the head of FISA's residence, and you have been leading this residence for a while. May you be strong and receive the almighty message to be able to continue even after this. May you and your arses again rise. May you and your house members and the cleaning staff in that residence be comforted and find strength. To the friends of Wanda, Junior, and your classmates, my deepest condolences to you. 
Thank you for your time you spend with your friends during academic journey. To the family of Wanda, your hurt is our hurt. Your pain is our pain. Your dreams for Wanda was also our dream because your dream was to have an engineer. Actually, according to what I heard on Monday during the candlelight in the residence, Wanda wanted to be one of the best engineers. We are also hoping that in our residences we'll, be, we'll also one day embrace an alumni that is an engineer. Family, you had hopes about the impact that Wanda will have in your family. And God decided to take him before that dream is realized. May you be comforted, Lamini's family. Sinani Kobushungulu Nokubo Bokad Lamini. Ngain Kosi Nganip Amandla Nikine. Okashanga Longishang. I will also like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been supporting the residents' lives during this difficult time. To protection service, thank you colleagues for everything. Martin and your team, your assistant during this difficult time is appreciated. To the residents' heads, to all student leaders in the residence, to all student affairs, in particular support office, your, your support during difficult time has been nothing but a sense of care. Thank you to everyone to every department that supported us during this time, to those who have been sending messages and contributed financially and otherwise. Thank you, thank you very much. All those contributions and messages were handed to parents and they are all grateful. May we all as community of the UFS be comforted because it hasn't been one of our, it has been one of our darkest journeys in all our campuses, may we be reminded that there will be light at the end. Thank you. Through it all. Everybody. Directed it, staff of student affairs, good morning. It is indeed a somber moment as we stand here to bid wave farewell to our students. Um, it's something that we never thought we would do, having to say farewell to three students. So it's extremely difficult for us as a university committee to stand here now to say farewell. So I'd like to take nothing away from the grief that we are feeling today. I would not say to you that everything is all right, because it's not all right. And we all know that it's not okay. We are hurting. 
And we know that we're going to still hurt for a long time to come. But God made us so that we have relationships with one another. And that when that relationships are lost, we feel that pain. And so we have lost many loved ones. And it hurts. And so I'd like to read a passage of Scripture from the book of John 14, the first six verses. In John 14, verse 1 to 6, the Bible reminds us that Jesus said to the disciples, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many rooms. And if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may also be. And where I go, where I go, you know. You know the way. Verse 5 says, And Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know the way. We do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And then in verse 6, Jesus says to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to me except through the Father. Good afternoon again to everybody. And as you have heard, my name is Lyle Markham. I am the resident head of Abram Fisher. Wanda Emmanuel Lamini has left this earth on Wednesday, the 22nd of September 2021. But his spirit and his loving made a difference and will continue to do so as long as each of you remember him in your hearts and as long as you carry on the lessons of his life with you. And so as we are gathered here today, we, we're still reeling from this tragic death of Wanda Dlamini. We are shocked. We are scared. We are angered at this unfairness and at this senselessness that took Wanda Dlamini away from us. And so in all of this, we all try to, to make sense of this, to understand the reason why this happened. And so we have many questions. And so we ask ourselves, what plan could this have been a part of? What possible meaning or lesson can be gleaned from this? Allow me just a moment to take this time to also just express my sincere condolences to the Dlamini, fam the Dlamini family, to the Fisses family, and to the UFA student community at large. The journey of grief is long. And those who walk this journey should, should not walk it alone. It is in times like these that nothing takes the place of friends and families and communities. So your presence here this morning or this afternoon he helps us realize how valuable wonder was to all of us. 
colleagues and beloved friends. What God creates, God loves. And what God loves, God loves everlastingly. And so those words were true for wonder before he died. And they are true for him even today. They are true for you before wonder died because they will be true for you tomorrow as well. While I believe the truth of these words and the strength of God's love, I also know that these words, these words will not take away the grief that we are feeling at this moment. These words will not dry the tears that we are, that we are experiencing at this time. And all the questions that I will bring today to you. And so today I want to ask you two questions, and it's questions that I've been struggling with this last couple of days. And so the first question I want to ask is a question that Thomas, that he asked Jesus in this passage. Thomas comes and he asks Jesus, how can we know the way? And so my question to all of us this morning or this afternoon is, how can we know the way? When a loved one and a friend dies, when life gives us what we never wanted and we asked for, how can we know when death shatters our world and nothing makes sense anymore, we can't. And we won't be able to. And as difficult as this first question was, here's another question. And this question has been playing on my mind since last week. For some of us, we might have been thinking out about this question. We, we might have been thinking about it aloud. But for myself, I've been struggling with this question silently. And so I've been speaking to many colleagues about it. And so the question is, why didn't he tell us? Why didn't he tell us that he was sick? Why didn't he allow us to be there for him? To love him through all of this? So I don't think this question is so much a question we are asking wonder, but it's a question we are asking ourselves. It's a question that comes from profound grief. A grief that causes us to wonder and believe. And these are questions that I've been struggling with as the resident head of Fisses this last couple of days. And so I ask myself, or I say to myself, I should have known. I should have seen something. I should have picked up on something. If only I had figured out, then I could have done something. I would have said this to him. I would have said that to him. I could have made a difference. If only. 
And so these past few days, has been a roller coaster, right? There's been days that when I drive past the residence or when I walk past the residence, I look at his empty room. And as I look at that room, I am filled with hurt. I am filled with pain. Colleagues and fellow students, when we lose a student, when we lose a friend, when we lose a family member, it breaks our hearts. And so it's times like these that we need to realize that sometimes there's this pain that comes with with caring about one another. And so this morning or this afternoon, I want to tell you all that these relationships that we build with our students, with our colleagues, and as we learn from one another, these relationships at times eventually will be no more and they will cause heartbreak. So those relationships makes this job of being a residence head, it's not just a job for me anymore, but it has become a calling because of how we develop students and how we develop potential. To come back to the passage that I've read earlier on in John 14, it's a passage about many rooms in the Father's house. And Jesus promises to prepare a place for us. And he says to us that he will be with us in that place. And so this morning, I can stand here as a resident's head and I can say to you this morning, wandered Lamini, chose a room in the father's house over a hospital bed. Wander knew of many rooms in the father's house. He knew of rooms of healing, of love, rooms of hope and forgiveness. We knew that Wanda, or Wanda knew what Thomas and what we don't know. Wanda knew the way. He knew he was okay. But grief has hidden this from us, but not from Wanda. And so for those of you who can identify with me in this grief this afternoon, Make it your aim to try and look past certain things and just move on. Wonder has passed on. There's nothing that will bring wonder back to us again. But at least we can live with the memory of wonder. I can live with the memory of the three or the two and a half years now that I had with wonder in my residence. Excuse me if I'm being long-winded. I'll be done shortly. And so Wanda would want us to be proud and to continue loving our lives. Colleagues and students, it's hard to accept the death of a loved one, especially when you didn't have an opportunity to say goodbye to that individual. And especially in a time like this when the deceased was taken so suddenly and so shockingly at the prime of his life. The other night we had a memorial service in front of the res and my prime asked him, Wanda, what would you like to become besides being an engineer? And they spoke about a number of things. 
And listening to what Gavin said, I realized that he had so many plans for himself. And so the grief and the pain that we're feeling at the moment is unbearable. We never, nearly, we never really know what, what it will be like until you are there yourself. But this morning, or this afternoon, I want to encourage you by saying that. Look to God this morning or this afternoon. Because he's the only one that can comfort us. Death, and indeed the sudden and painful death of Wanda Emmanuel Dlamini a week ago, again just made me realize the brevity of life. And so we often take life for granted. Death reminds us now this morning that we need to say to each other more and reach out to each other more often and say to each other, I love you. I care about you. I want to check in with you. Because tomorrow, well, we don't know what tomorrow will be. Tomorrow might not come. And so one this passing made me just sit down and reflect it made me appreciate the loved ones that I have in my life. And so it put a lot of things into perspective for me. And so I just liked all of us just to reflect on what I said now. So let's stop putting things off. Let's tell one another how much we care about each other. And if you haven't done that, phone someone and you tell that person, I appreciate you. I care about you. Colleagues, in closing, the grief we have today is going to be with us for a long time. But instead, it renews our hope and our confidence that there is a way forward. And even if at times we don't see that way, let's be encouraged that there is a way forward. And I want us to believe that. I know today is a day of sadness. It's a day of grief and mourning. But yet, we can have peace even in the midst of the grieving that we are experiencing at this moment. So why will we have that peace? We will have that peace because we have faith. Because we believe. We believe that even in the midst of the storm that we are experiencing now as a university community, even in the shallow of death that we are experiencing now, there can be peace that will surpass all understanding. Because we know that God is with us. In Psalm 23, the Bible reminds us, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. God is here with us. He is present. Believe in Him. Trust in Him. And God will grant you this perfect peace. Wonder, you are now in a better place, my friend. And we know, wonder, that you are watching over us. I want to say to you, wonder, that first says will never be the same again. Rest well, my friend. Rest well, my student. Rest well, my first age gentleman. But most importantly, 
Rest well, my son. Because I've lost a son now. Your first says, family will miss you dearly, Wanda. And in your words, Wanda, I want to greet everybody, like you always used to greet everybody in the passage. Awoy. Thank you. You were Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Lord, you Thank you, Mr. Lyle. We feel your pain. All of us here in the auditorium, and I'm sure those that are watching as well, you spoke like a true parent. You spoke like someone who really knew the student in their space. And myself, I really appreciate you for that. And uh, we will check up on each other more often, and we'll tell each other more often that we love each other and that we must take care of ourselves. Um, we're going to move straight to, because of time, because we still have a longer second part there in Kwakwa, we're going to move straight to the message from a friend, and I will ask Junior Jamini to make his way to the podium, and uh, only Mr. Lyle was the only one who was allowed to take his time. And I'm just going to ask that uh, Junior, you can just keep it short. And then I will come back immediately after June, and then I'm going to give direction from there on. Thank you. Jehovah, when I. Jehovah, Before I start, I was actually laughing at Wanda's photo because he used to tell me that he used to be a charmer in high school. He used to look good and with a, a flat stomach. Then he came to Fast City and he started eating a lot. Then things went south. Lamini Bafong, my friend, you were more than just a friend to me. You were my brother. It saddens me that we are gathered here today because of you. But at the same time, it brings, it brings me joy because I know you've lived. I know you've lived a happy life, doing what you want, following your dreams. It wasn't an easy road, but you stayed strong. Now, life feels different without you in class. You always sat next to me. You always reminded me about assignments. You always reminded me about upcoming tests. tests. Now that you're gone, who is going to remind me of all those things? Who's going to help me when I'm struggling with the sum? 
have no one to walk with now on campus. I always walked with you. These are some of the roles you played in my life. I remember last month you brought, you, you, you bought a pack of pens. You came with them in class because I always forget my pens. I don't know how. You came with three in class, one for me, one for you, and you kept one. And you told me that this one was for me for the next day because you know that I was going to leave the one that you gave me that day at home. I laughed. And the next day I didn't bring a pen, just like you said. It's funny how I just noticed that we always called each other every day, but not on weekends. You never answered your phone on a weekend. No matter how much I call you, you never answer. And I remember this one time I asked you, why don't you answer your phone on weekends? And you said, nah, on weekends I relax. On weekends, I, I watch soapies, I catch up. I study during the week. I just relax. I just put my phone away. And I just relax, take some time off. And every time when I ask you on Mondays, how far, even if you're writing the next week, you just watch your soapies and you say, ah, you will see. You need some time off. And when I ask you on Mondays, how far are you with your studying? <laughs> you used to say, ah, you know me. You know, I was taking a break, but I will catch up, I'm going to be fine. And you did. <clears throat> Bafu, that's what we called each other. I know right now you are in a happy place. I know you loved us. I know you loved your family. I know you wanted to make your mother proud because that's what you said. That's what you, you told me. You wanted to make your mother, your mother proud. You wanted to be an engineer. I just remembered this one time, also this one time, you know, because of the COVID regulations, Rwanda stays far. It's far. He didn't know that there were restrictions, that the gate closes early on campus. He took a taxi late and arrived here on campus around 11. And the gate at that time, it, was clo it, 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 it closed at 10, if I'm not mistaken, because of the COVID regulations. He got here at 11. He went to the main gate, he found no one, the gate was closed. He went the other way around to that visitor's gate. The gate was closed there. Then he phoned me, I was sleeping. He phoned me again and told me, hey, Bafo, <laughs> they closed here. There is no one, not even a security guard. Can I, can I come to you? Can I come sleep over? I was like, no, no problem, Bafo. You know where I stay. He walked. He walked. Then he went to my place. Then he went to day. I didn't cook. Because I was alone. I was lazy. I was tired. He came with bread. I think he, he, he came with it from home. The bread. I told him, hey, buff. I didn't cook. I was like, nah, I'm fine too. I'm full. We'll see in the morning. And I was broke. I didn't have money. In the morning, I didn't know. I tried calling people and asking for money so that I can make him something to eat. He took the bread and was like, Bafo, nasi singwa. Musuge nasi kai. You can have this bread. It's yours. Make something to eat. Make for both of us. Let's eat. 
we ate and he left the bread for me. I never had a friend to bring food over to my, to my place. I'm happy that you spent your last days with me, Wanda. I will miss you, Bafo. Lamini, Lata, Paratwai, Ulala Mokpumula. Thank you, Jamin. Uh, now we're going to move to the tribute by the family of Wanda. They've sent a tribute, and then I'll hand over to our media team that is going to now broadcast that uh, tribute. Thank you for the opportunity that I have been given. Um, my name is Sipo, and I am Wanda's um, cousin, and I'm here to speak on the on behalf of the Lamini's family about Wanda, and we are very sad by his passing at at such a young tender age. We been looking forward to his graduation and waiting for him to make us proud at the end of his duration at the UFS. Unfortunately, this ordeal has happened and it has left us all in the family devastated as we are asking ourselves as to what has happened to him. We know him as a vibrant young individual who is cheerful and have and had a life full ahead of him. We we so touched and it's 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 barely we can barely talk. But all we can say as a family, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank the UFS management and all the staff of the university for the assistance and the gratitude we have received in getting his um, body returned back home in Pumalanga, where he will be buried. And we are so grateful for everything they have done for us and we thank them for having patience with us and also being able to notify us in time about his passing and yeah as for him we wish that he rest well and we will forever love him until we meet again. I thank you. Uh, without any further waste of time, I will just ask Mr. Jerry Toka, the SRC president, uh, my president, because I'm also a student and a staff member, to come to the podium. So I don't have Abathabili Libami today. 
SRC president. Bongwe, male bongwe, male bongwe, ika male ngosi. Male bongwe, ibo male bongwe, male bongwe, ika male ngosi. No, uh, greetings everyone, um, and greetings first of all to the families of the students that we lost during this period. And well, of course, greetings to members of Rectorate that have joined us in this memorial service. Further greetings to the Executive Director of Student Affairs, Mr. Temba Thrasho, uh, together with the colleagues from Student Affairs that are working with you, both in the Bloemfontein campus and in the Kotwa campus. And greetings as well to members from residence leadership, members from student life, and the, re the residence head of House Fis Hayes, together, of course, with colleagues from the SRC. Uh, we stand here today to honor and mourn, but of course, in a celebratory manner, the lives of the three students of the University of the First State that we lost. But of course, I stand here in my capacity and role as the CSRC president of the Bloemfontein campus and would therefore speak in particular to the loss of the life of Wanda Dlamini, which hit us in a most saddening and a most disheartening manner. But it has been quite a challenging time at the University of the Free State, especially from the time we assumed term of office as the CSRC, we have been taught but a few things by the experiences that we've had. And every time an incident of this nature where we lose students happens, I'm reminded of the words of the Apostle Paul when he spoke in the first book of Second Corinthians just extract three to four, when he said, praise be to God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and he further calls him the God of all comfort. He says, the God who comfort us in times of tribulations, so that we are able to comfort those that go through tribulations by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted. So it is on that extract that we continually find strength to extend the comfort God gives us to the families of students that we continually lose in our campuses. It is from that point that we normally gain strength as student leaders to extend comfort and words of courage to the families. It is, it is a difficult thing and I would want to understand that it is difficult for everyone, including members of staff, those that have to interact with families, to have to inform a family of the loss of their child. It can never be a difficult task. And therefore, we stand to extend our condolences and comfort to the family of the three students we lost, but in particular, to the family of Wanda Dlamini, to say their loss is equally our loss as a campus, at the Bloemfontein campus, because we have shared moments with him, we have shared times with him. Moments of happiness and moments of sadness. From time to time we met him on the campus, and the manner in which his passing was made known to me as the CSRC president I was attending a teaching and learning management committee, the committee which deals and handles acad the academia in the institution. It gives direction to how the academics 
takes charge and moves on in the university. When I was attending that meeting, um, it was then announced that we have lost a student at, at Fisa Hayes who was an aspiring engineer. And having to attend a teaching and learning management committee and get to know that you have lost a possible academic, someone who was aspiring to be an engineer. And engineering in its own context speaks to providing infrastructural resolutions to challenges that men are confronted with. So when you lose someone who has a passion to become someone who solves problems of men, it's not a loss only to the family. It's a loss to the entire humanity. Because who knows what Wanda would have developed in his engineering career? Who knows what initiative he would have given to the world? So it is on those thoughts and on those words that we recognize the loss not only as to the family, not only as to the constituents and the student populace of the University of the Free State, but a loss to the entire world for the possibilities that Wanda would have given to this work. But we stand in comfort knowing and believing that Wanda is in a better place. Knowing that as our Lord Jesus Christ has given us guidance, that in this world we'll from time to time go through tribulations and challenges. But when we get out of this world, we'll see it at a place without pain. We'll see it at a place of peace and comfort, at a place without anxiety, and at a place without the life of having to fear what would possibly happen to you tomorrow. So it is in those words that we find comfort and would like to extend the same comfort to the family to say Wanda has passed on to be with our Lord Jesus Christ. Wanda has passed on to be in a place of glory. And we that remain in this world should only remain with the hope and the joy in remembrance of the moments we shared with our brother. And I'd like to leave the family, the friends, House Fis Hayes in particular, and members of the student community and the entire community of the University of the Free State with an extract again from the Bible where the Apostle Paul also guides and teaches us. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 10, when you read from verse 13, Paul shows us that God will never allow temptations or tribulations to come our way that will not have the strength sufficient to go over. He says when, we, when he permits the tribulations to come to us, along with the tribulations, God accompanies it with the requisite strength to be able to get over the tribulations we went through. So it is in those ways that I'd like to say to the family, to the friends, members of the student community and staff of the University of the Free State, that in these trying times that we are faced with, God has provided us with the requisite strength to be able to go through these trying times. And in those ways, would like to say comfort and condolences to members of the student community, in particular House Fis Hayes, and of course, in a, by extension, condolences to the family of the students that we lost in Kalkwa campus through tragic incidences that occurred at that campus. It is in the similar ways that would like to say to the family and the student community at the Kalkwa campus that find courage and strength and comfort in the comfort of our Lord Jesus Christ. And may the Holy Spirit give all of us the strength to carry our roles in the absence of our students, to carry our roles in the absence of our brothers. Thank you very much.
e amole pati le maho de mo From the Bloemfontein site, the Bloemfontein campus, we have come to an end. We're going to hand over to Kwakwa campus uh, to do the program that site and the virtual tributes that we're going to do this site, they will be done together with the Kwakwa campus uh, tributes for all the three students all at once. But before I uh, ask our team to give us a song and then we hand over to Kwakwa, I will just want to read a tribute from the Department of Engineering Sciences where Wanda was a student in, and the tribute reads as follows. Our Department Engineering Sciences is small and like an extended family. We know all our students by name. Engineering Sciences solely misses Wanda, who was tenacious in his pursuit in becoming a future mechanical engineer to take note of. We are grateful for the time he could spend with us at the department, and we wish to extend our sincere condolences to his family in this distressing time. That is a message from the Department of Engineering Sciences at the University of the Free State Bloemfontein campus. I just want to leave everyone with these words. I will also be quoting Apostle Paul in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, verse 8 and verse 9, just to encourage the students, the family, and the university at large. The scripture says, I'm not going to preach it at the end. I'm just going to read it, and we move on to a short song, and then we're going to hand over to Kwakwa. We are hedged in, pressed on every side, troubled and oppressed in every way, but not cramped or crushed. We suffer embarrassments and are perplexed and unable to find a way out, but not driven to despair. We are pursued, persecuted, and hard driven, but not deserted to stand alone. We are struck down to the ground, but never struck out and destroyed. That is the last message from my side. We're just going to have a very short, short song, and then when they finish, uh, our program director on the Kwakwa campus, Mr. Nkosna Tisibeko, will then take over. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hello
Samu Losongwani for giving us an insight of what is happening in that fight. We also share the same sentiments with you. We would also like to pass our condolences to the Tamini family, as well as to the families of our students here in Kwakwa campus. Uh, moving, uh, coming back to Kwakwa campus, I would like to call upon uh, Professor Pell Sitole to give us the message from the principalship of the Kwakwa campus. Sings my soul, my Savior God to me. behalf of the principalship, the principal, Dr. Mendu, who's not with us this afternoon, and uh, the vice principals, Mr. Manju and myself, and on behalf of the entire management of this campus, there are representatives of various units here. I would like to greet the members of the families that are affected. Uh, the, the Zimba family, Mangaele family, and the Lamini family, Eplumfontein, Abase Manzin. Executive Dean and your team for all of the things that you've done for us. Uh, student Affairs Communication, the representatives of the private accommodation, we were told to Mr. Mfukeng and Mr. Mahatu are with us, whether virtually or here. The community leaders who have been with us and have held meetings come to see us, counsel us from the side of the, of the community. The student leadership, the SRC, our staff members who have been working so hard to know, to offer what it is that they can do. The students, the friends, the classmates, the entire community. I greet you all in pain. It must be known that it has not been a difficult, it has not been an easy year for Kwa Kwa. We've lost staff members this year. We've lost students through other situations, car accidents, illness, and everything. We did not expect that by this time we will be losing two students in the manner that we have lost them. I know Pastor Musigidi, you have healed us in letting us and reminding us know that we don't know the time and there is an authority that allows or disallows but it's still unacceptable that the family of south africa the family that we must rely on because members of family rely on each other can use a gun as doom. It is unacceptable and we must tell the family of South Africa. 
maybe we 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 too quiet about the things that are happening in South Africa as a community, a society. We are too quiet. We must let South Africa know that you cannot be the capital of violence for the world and say nothing of reflection about that status. We must tell South Africa that it is men and women of this country that are violent, and it is up to them to rectify their integrity as human beings. We, the institutions of higher learning, are working so hard against the tide of arrogance, of coloniality, and everything that the students have now learned to know in terms of what it is that we are fighting against and everything. And then the members of this family of South Africa take a gun and remove any shred of integrity that we were trying to build. South Africa must know that it is painful to some of the members of this family that this society is. And even though I accept everything of condolences that we have been told this afternoon, we must remember that we have lost. We've lost, the families have lost people that were about to bring hope in terms of their lives as families. We must remember that as the community of Puta Dichaba, we have people looking at us wondering whether they should bring their kids here. And it's not a nice space to contend with. We must remember that as a university, we have been working so hard to take these youngsters and make them see that since a delivery of development is struggling against a whole range of challenges, we were going to plant them in these communities to initiate it so that they can then put pressure on all the other institutions to say we are, we've started something here and we know our communities. You sh why are you not helping us in the way that makes sense for us? It was our plan. It is our plan. That is why at the University of the Free State, we put in our committees, the, as the CSRC of Bloemfontein has just said, we put our students in all of our committees because we want to show them how it is done. And someone comes with a gun and does this to us and the entire South African family. You must know with your gun that you have removed the integrity of this society they are fighting against the tide of people who can stand in public and tell us that we are morons, which is what is happening in the media, you know, about those things now. And that kind of thing happens when people think that you do not have, you cannot drive anything on your own. And when we try, put our energies, seek solutions, groom our children in that fashion, you come with a gun and do this. And in fact, it's your reputation now, South Africa, because you kill women as well. Please, can we reflect? Can we have a mirror in front of us? We will have pain because we don't know time and we all know that death is our destination. But it shouldn't be like this. We should not be known as a capital of violence, formed by removing a life. I want to move from this anger and end by saying, Pambaniga Shibant Abam, Um Shaba Zange Uze Ube kind, Nina, Fanatic Vumeloko, Snambat Uze Wek, Um Shaba Auzange Uze Ube kind, Glazes Ngani, Ebezama. And so, Gala Womazui, Bega de Esse, Velewang Put, a Omunyagui program, Goba Beng Fun, Fundale, Lily Vis, Eliguma Romans, Chapter Eight, Nilnigas, Elimdin, 
ukuthi phakamani ngaphezu kwazo zonke lezizimo ngokuba u Jehovah uthi for I am persuaded that neither death nor life no angels no principalities no powers no things present or to come not height not depth nor any creature shall be able to separate from the love of our God, which is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Balele, gopumule, etuze, ubacho, amen. Mama Ekwako campus. I got dreaming in Uba, a professor. Got to a Upinda Abe Umza Legitina song. Gamas, we asked to do Zengawa. Moving forward with our program, because of time, uh, we would like to run a little bit faster. I'm now calling upon the president of the SRC to come and say a few words. Thank you. So uh, I'm going to be reading from somewhere. So I'd like to thank everyone who was part of the team that was organizing the service and the memorial service that we're having today, institutionally and brought here on this campus. And I'd like to start by greeting the royal family. I'm informed that they are here. The families of the students, Abagwa Zimba, Abagwa and Abagwa Jamini. And I'd like to first indicate that we're here to celebrate the lives of our students that we lost tragically. And to say that from every life that they touched, we appreciated them, we loved them while they were on this earth. But today we are here to pay our last respects to them. For me personally, I had met Mr. Zimba three or two times if I'm not mistaken. And from those experiences, everyone that knows him can say, Uti, I'm not lying. I would not be lying when I say that he was one person who was down to earth. So it's very sad that we have to bid our goodbyes and farewells to our friends and students whose lives were cut short, not because they had to be, but because of someone else's deed. And part of me here today is glad that the, 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 the culprits and suspects have been apprehended. And I stand here with hope that the families and the student community at large will see justice. And those that did the evil that they, they did last week are going to be brought to the book. Sometimes we go to the Bible for Uktutuzega and words of comfort. And as I was sitting alone, I got the opportunity to read Job 1 verse 5, Job 14 verse 1. Lapo iti kona umundu ozele nga osifazana imitha yake mthabeni mifishani ikwele ugyaluza. So knowing that God is close to us no matter how dark and difficult the going gets, he is there to comfort and protect us and the families and everyone that feels the loss that we felt as the student community and the families and everyone. 
So, angeni zangu bemo tega kuu longchanda guti m deni ni of our students, all three of them, including Mr. Wanda Zamini in Bloemfontein, to to zega. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread from heaven, fill me till I want no more. Is my cup fill it up and make.
Sibanigazelituba <laughs> Siba tetele, siba nigeze le lituba uguti eh, Bajuli sesuzo kala ngomdeni eh, The Zimba family A delegate from the Zimba family Angega nsema Immediately after a delegate from the Zimba family eh, Sizo kela omele bagamangele Eze azo kuluma Uma basalunge lukzo kuluma agengeshu kuti Ngoba ngyalazu zami I have family members Abashone nye ngayo zami eh, Kute nsakabanga Uguti gonje nzo tine mdenini Kulungkulu wa isu ya nkumbuzu kuti Kona umsabelili oge wati Umangi shoga njalo ngishugu tibeme baso ndele eh, Bazo sho aba Oksintizu in zabo Zikoli sen Si Ya Zuela nanani Chula Chula And being a letter, a coming linguist, yes. Kumela 
Uh, I think uh, most of I missed him from Dr. Chase. Uh, I've been asked by the Mangele family to be here on the stage on their, their behalf as they are not here uh, because of uh, the circumstances. Uh, the body of, the, of their uh, kids was moved from Guagua to Lutuwe yesterday. Uh, they are busy with preparations for the funeral as you speak. But they just requested me to be here on the stage on their behalf. Uh, what happened to them is really sad. Uh, when I heard, when I started uh, engaging them on the 23rd with Mr. Mbule at the hospital, the day the, the uh, the Tobali died. Uh, we hear that he's the only son uh, at that family. They are all uh, the in the city. But unfortunately, uh, her dad, his dad is an old man. He even forgets some of the things. As we speak now, I've been going in and out about some of the things he forgot here at Kwakwa. 
but let's bear with him. Maybe it's stress. I have to go to the hospital now to collect some of the things that were are there at the hospital and give it to some of the students who will be going uh, to the funeral over the weekend. But we don't know really when the funeral will be at the moment. Maybe later to the day because we are traveling from Tuba Tuba where he left the body to Fufu West today. Maybe they will uh, engage this afternoon. Then they will revert back to us and tell us when the funeral will be. It's so sad, uh, but let's be with them and all the students who were with Magnele uh, Tobani there at that day. With these words, I will say thank you. Thank you, colleagues. <laughs> Little Ubkosi bukona la sihanjelo ubkosi. Noma sibangane gotoa sizizwa sibakulu. Uguti ubkosi bube kona pagati wetu. Let me call upon a representative from the Royal House. Kiyale wa mshompe mta maiswa morero Una umashonu kuwa si hopo tosa Ba nabana ba Ba mala apapa shoka hiting Dila pinlanta tizamini Dila pinlanta tizimba Dila pinlanta timangele Kilumera uge hape hona le Lila palanta tizikalala Leo lilo nale angwenki Mashoko ana ke ratalo hore ke le bohe sebaka so ke sifuang ke the university of the free state uh, we are grateful we are honored to be part of this uh, painful occasion and we are quite impressed with the effort that you have put in both staff and students to uh, pay a tribute to these lives that we have lost ladies and gentlemen good afternoon I have been sent here to speak on behalf of the royal family, uh, but I, I stand here as the chief of the village where this sad uh, occurrence happened. Kiboreni Mutungwabu Chabela Mona, closest village to the university. Uh, in as much as it is shameful for Lila Balahan that this be where this happened, it is equally shameful for me being part of the Bakwena kingship here at Mabulela Monakwakwa to be the chief of a village with such violence. 
it is quite a shame, but I am not here to talk much about the occasion more than I am here to bring uh, condolences to the family uh, and the families of those uh, we have lost. Allow me, uh, program director, to first pay my respect to the traditional leadership of this place, um, one of the speakers mentioned in local parentis, uh, these kids live in our background as we being their parents. So we are really hurt by this loss. I also want to pay and, and give honor and respect to the royal family and the kingship of our neighbor. Uh, the affected families there there is no word in in perhaps in the basotu vocabulary that can or that is used to explain the situation that you are in. When, when, when a woman loses her husband, we call her a widow, when, when a man loses his wife, a widower. When children lose their parents, they are called orphans, but I'm, I'm struggling to find a word. Maybe it is because of the pain. There is no word to explain the situation of such a person. So. I'm not going to stand here to say, I, I know the pain you are going through. I, I do not, but we are here to refer you to a God that does know that pain. Uh, the father of Jesus Christ, he lost his son through death. And I would like to say, please refer to him more often when this pain comes, when the memories of your loved one uh, come to you. Allow me also, program director, to uh, comfort the, the friends, uh, the neighbors, the, the, the classmates, the teachers uh, of these learners, those who, who knew them, who, who learned things from them and who taught them things. It, it cannot be easy. Uh, and, and, I, and I suppose that to some, to some of us, it is not yet uh, a reality that hey, we will no longer see or hear or touch these loved ones, perhaps in this world. Uh, they will see them or hear them. Uh, I, I, the gloom that you are going through right now, please be comforted. Uh, as I, as I prepare to sit, um, allow me also to uh, share the comfort that we receive from the Word of God. Uh, Ndate has already mentioned that for everything, there's a time for birth and there's a time for death. There's a time to gather and there's a time to scatter. Um, the only joy that you you feel how how is the hope that one day that seed will produce a crop, uh, a harvest. At the time, it is painful when you are going through the preparation of the soil, the, the nursing of the seed. Uh, perhaps you injure yourself and you get hurt here and there. It is, it is not always a pleasant um, task. And I would like to draw a parallel with, with the passing of these loved ones to the planting of a seed. It, it is not... We do not understand this to be an easy time for you, uh, family. 
family and friends. Uh, I had expected to, to gain more from the lives of these young academics, but it wasn't in, in God's plan perhaps for it to be, to be that way. But we have a hope, a living hope. I, I do not, I, I battle to understand the hope that we have in Christ. How do they find their comfort in times like this? Because Christ did rise from the grave. You know, had he not, had he just fainted and whatnot, it, it wouldn't be comforting enough for me at least to know that though my father passed away, he will rise. Yes, Jesus passed away. And our hope is that those who pass away, knowing and believing in the goodness, will also rise. Uh, we see the signs of the times all around us. People are thinking, okay, when will it happen? The Bible also gives counsel to that. How Very soon, this world will come to an end. This world of pain, of turmoil, of sorrow will come to an end. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Till that time, if it happens while we are still alive, we are going to see the graves open of those we love. And we shall meet them in the air and then start afresh in a new world. With those words, I would like to say to the leadership of the university, let us engage more often uh, to try and find ways together of how to prevent such occurrences. I would like to perhaps extend a hand who, who the landlords, and I'm glad to see the chairperson of the off-campus landlords in Katemaik here with us. Uh, let us sit more, more often because these kids, like your kids have gone to other worlds and, and, and seek refuge there and, and stay in other residences and, and other campuses in, in other places. And you, you have the hope, let us also uh, try and give uh, some comfort or, or confidence to the parents who bring their children to our realms also. As Ndate said, with their gowns and qualifications and not have to send them back home in this manner. With, with those words, Uh, the vote of thanks. Uh, he's not just the acting director of student affairs, but he is a father to all the students of the University of the, of the Free State Kwakwa campus. He, he, together with his team, he is the one person whom uh, we can rely on. Noma Ungamvusa Epsugu. If there is anything that concerns uh, our students, we are Vuga and make sure that uh, the students get the assistance they need. Uh, in so saying, I would like to call upon him to come and give us the vote of thanks. Go sing the
Namaste. I would like to greet our Vice Rector, Dr. Rectorate Member, our Executive Director, Student Affairs, Babu Shasho, on the Principalship, Prof. Sitole, and the Assistant Deans of Faculties who are here, the Student Representative Council, Marena Arona, Adengwano Mshompei, Marena Mopedi, and the of Fugeng from the Committee of Private Accommodation Service Providers, our students, and the friends of the deceased, uh, the campus community who are here and virtually, and more especially, the Nogwat Lamini, the Nogwamangale, Nagbabe, and Eko Pagat Great. Namde Noga Babu Zimba. In being a little more cool, look Dabuga. Gesso, a session. And is Ugu Moshas Carti, program director. I'll go straight to what I'm supposed to do. When all has been said and done, there's only one word that needs to be said is to say thank you to the following people. The rectorate would like to say thank you because you have allowed us as a campus to hold this ceremony to celebrate the lives that we have lost of our lovely students. To the principalship on your campus, Prof. Dr. Mendu, Dr. Manchu, we also appreciate that you are here and you also agreed that we have this ceremony. Furthermore, I wish to say thank you to the Executive Director of Student Affairs, or Mr. Sasho, who alluded to the fact that we have an institutional memorial service for both campuses for all our students. And I want to thank my colleagues from Student Affairs for their sterling job, colleagues that drove all the way from Bloemfontein to our campus to come and ensure that this service is of this nature. Thank you very much. And I want to thank you, uh, colleagues from Student Affairs, especially the support, social support, uh, student governance, and also the student life to ensure that we all put our hands together to make this ceremony a very good one. Not forgetting colleagues from me and students in the residences that have lived with uh, our students, uh, Ulamini, and our students in the residences who know the two students who resided off campus. Thank you very much. Uh, I further want to thank the protection service colleagues. When everything and anything happens on campus, they are the first to be called into the scene. They sometimes see all good and bad. Thank you, Protection Service, under the leadership of Mr. Kaulela, that Demolefe, we really appreciate your presence at all times. 
ungumabizwa asabele ngoba kukho lana lakhona ukuya niyokwenza show ukuthi i situation is manageable it's calm on campus or of campus Pres- president of the src and the council as a whole thank you very much indeed we have ensured that students are in the center when you are called on any issue you respond please continue to be that kind of leaders who serves the students that put you into office thank you very much for that ndatemo fukeng le mema khatu who are here representing the committee here private accommodation reale bo aholo ho bane bana bana ke ba lona ha ba le mane malapeng me ba hirilente ke lona mahlo a rona le ditsebe tsa rona ho bona hore bana ba rona ba bulukehile ba phela handle ka hona re le dulentse le tshwarane le rona le sebedisana le rona ho etsa bonnete ba hore bana ba rona ba etsa se o ba stretseng kwano ka mehla re ya le boa le sekela ghatana mrena wa rona wa sibaka ha se ka jeno ha re tla le ka jeno go bona bo rena bo le teng ka university ya free start na kontsa thabo tsa mekete ke re bo bone bo rena bo te ka hona re ya le boa le ha e le nako ya mahlonoko le ka jeno ntse le eme le rona ka nnete re le phamisetsa matso re ya le boa mrena wa ka eh colleagues i want also to thank the south african police services even if they are not here we must acknowledge the role that they are playing to ensure the safety of our communities of our students of the campus of each and every one of us it cannot go unnoticed we know for a fact that for now they are hard at work to get these killers that have taken the lives of our students so we also want to thank them and say uh, we hope sooner they will provide us with answers and again i want to thank the community of buchabela and all the surrounding areas because they are housing our students when as an institution as an institution we cannot due to limited resources i know sechaba sukule bohloko me ka hona ke ntse ke etsa kholetso le hona o le boa hore bane ba tshwarane jwalo le rona ho etsa bonnete ba hore hona le khotso le khutso ka ra sechaba le bana ba rona ba ikutla e le karolo ya sechaba sa kwano putha ditshaba ke ga taole ba holo sechaba ka ka kakaretso la ba le siko kwano ga u kwisisa ke ka maemo a covid ana a day and then i also want to thank uh, colleagues in bloomfontein i'm aware that they are also hearing us from this side especially um, the ones on residents life issues i know they are affected but thank you for the sterling work as well to ensure that everything else goes well from that side and the parents are informed accordingly and lastly colleagues i want to thank the families mangusho kokuthi mndeni wakwadlameni tutuzekani lalani ngenxeba phephisana mndeni wakwazimba izolo bengade nginane ngisaphinda futhi ngiyasho ukuthi tutuzekani phephisane ngiyazi umcimbi wonke uhambe kahle bengikhona ngizibonele ngithi ke ubuhlungu lobu enikubo nathi ngokunjalo sinalo bubuhlungu kodwa ke sithemba ukuthi uNkulunkulu uzosinceda bese ukuthi ke nomndeni wakwamanxele 
osaba mbene no mshiga shiga wokufihla undoda na wabo ngathi unkulunkulu angabasiza nabo babe namandla ukuthi akwazi nayo ukuphumuzwa ebthongweni bakhe bokugcina ukube ngelinye langa izinto umuntu yakwazi ukuzenzela zona noma uzishintshe usithathe iselelesi usibekela sesiwenzile konke lokhe sikwenzile uthi uyabona yini ubunzima ofake osifake kubo siwumde uma ngilalela ubaba umlife uthi umzimba wakwamanqele awukakafike khaya kusho ukuthi simo sinzima prof the anger you have i have it also kukhona oku wrong south africans something is very wrong and i have said it even yesterday ukuthi there is something wrong with a man i am a man also but we are at a high time where we need to do an introspection as men to say what really drives or what triggers this kind of animal behavior at some stage i don't understand is it because i have failed in life or is it because i am jealous or is it because i don't have or i don't own wealth therefore i need to choose to take other people's souls in this very bad manner i would wish marenaka bontate src that at some stage we have a discussion about a man what makes a man to be a real man something is very wrong with men how do you sleep at night when you are a man you have impregnated a woman and you kill that woman with that baby something is wrong we need to talk about this when we are done we need to talk about this we need to do a research on this to say exactly what triggers this behavior but after all nyafisa ukusho ukuthi duduzekani mndeni yonke unkulunkulu asincede ebese siyavuma ukuthi baphumule ngani ngoba ushilo umfundisi pastor msikidi reale bo aholo kamanzwe ofane nka wona ka hore so hledi nale nako ha so ufihlile nako ha so umathile libilo la hawu uwafihla qetelongo fela uke sithilele kanqa wonke umuntu saye simbone bazalwane uyagijima uyi race go marathon nanani kodwa uma sefike la kuthiwa kusegcineni khona angaba sandlulela nga namanje kusho ukuthi kusigcino nothabani baligijimile bangalabo bafike la liphelela khona they can't exceed ngaleyo ndlela asiduduze ke nisonke unkulunkulu asisize asigcine asiprotect against all evil i thank you kakhulu babumdluli ngamazwi owakhulumile eh sesifike ngasemaphethelweni wenkonzo yethu kodwa izwi likankulunkulu lithi eh kuyodlula izulu nomhlaba kodwa omethemba ayo uje ova akayi kwesaba ngakho ke ngiyaqela ukuthi immediately after pastor musikidi has prayed we are going to call upon uh, um, um, Lucy Sihluhu, 
while we also hand over the program to our colleagues at Bloemfontein campus to continue with the visual tributes for all our students. Pastor Musikidi, over to you. Every day and every hour you are faithful oh every day and every hour you are faithful oh Lord, you are faithful you are faithful you are faithful you Let us pray. Ntateka libitso la morena Jesu. Mudimo re ale boha. O bilele rona ko a tsebeletso e sakala. Moya o halalelang wa re pepa wa re jara. Le dipuitso re tse bohile morena. Mantswa re khotha ditseng. Mantswa tsirisitseng le la pa ka o fitisisa. Re le bohela le le ntswela hao. Le wile mudima lukile. Ka le bitso la morena Jesu. Paitse kamatla ba pese mudimo o tlhwa hana jwale o fihlela letsatsi la o qetela ba phumotsa meliene ya bana ba bo bona ga tlhola o qetela morena re ya leboha mudimo re sa tlotla yo hle ho wena re ya o boka ka lebitso la morena Jesu itlotlise mudimo nka sebaka tsena tso hleng tate re ya dikopa o fihlela mogena Jesu Kriste ya gutla hape amen
Thank you very much, colleagues. And I'd like to just extend uh, thanks to the musical uh, team, uh, to the technical team, the Bloemfontein campus, and colleagues from Student Affairs, colleagues from support system, uh, the social support system, the colleague from Residence Life and Student Life, and colleagues from the SRC and everyone that has been involved in the preparation of the memorial service, we'd like to extend gratitude on behalf of all the students of the University of the Free State and say thank you for honoring uh, our fellow students in the manner which we honored our fellow students. And of course, greatly more send appreciation to members of rectorate uh, who have graced us with their prestigious presence to honor our students. It means a lot to us also to give thanks to the executive director uh, with his team collectively. And thanks colleagues from the Kokwa campus uh, for collective law also honoring the students from that side. Thanks for the family members who were able to attend and those who were able to send a representative and the tributes. Uh, thank you very much. I uh, would just take this moment now and play some of the tributes that we've received from the students. And then immediately after the tributes, that will then be the end of the dual program. Uh, and then the technical team can start picking afterwards, but of course, would appreciate one or two, th two songs before we departure from uh, the music team. But thank you very much. We can play the tributes. and <laughs> <laughs> I Good morning. It is the prime of House Abraham Fisher. Never would I thought I would make such a video for one of my house members in the lifetime of my studies at the University of Free State. Mr. Wanda Lamini, a brother, a friend, and a house member, has passed away and it has really came with a huge shock to each and every one of us. You know, Mr. Wanda Zamini came back in 2019. I was his Peter mentor, and I've built a relationship with Mr. Wanda Zamini. So all of this has come to a huge shock to me. And it's in times like this, we sometimes ask ourselves if it's not better to do not to have relationships so that when death strikes, it is not as hard on us. But the one that I many will be sincerely missed by myself, the house members, and university community at large. Thank you. Kia bonga, kia bonga, kungi si 